Unity Virtual Production. Today I'm going to talk about how to do virtual production with Unity. Now, there's two types of engines out there today. There's Unreal Engine and then there's Unity. And pretty much the industry has decided to go with Unreal Engine. Now, when I was researching and I knew nothing about virtual production, I was drawn to Unity, even though I know a lot about Unreal Engine. So there's main key differences between Unreal and Unity. And one of them is ease of use with coding. Now, Unreal has something called blueprints, which are bases of code where you don't really have to learn the nitty gritty of coding to learn it and to implement your ideas. With C Sharp scripting in Unity, you have to know coding. I was able to grasp the bigger concepts of coding in Unity off the bat where I would say if I had jumped in without knowing anything about coding, it would have been really tough. I'm a little taken aback how the Unreal Engine takes a large percentage of your money once you make a certain amount of money and Unity is free up to $100,000. Now, Unreal Engine is also free if you're using it for a video project. However, with the idea of virtual productions maturing, it's going to be meshed together with video game style elements. So how long is that free license going to last with video within Unreal Engine? So having Unreal Engine and Unity battling for this spot as the virtual production software is only a good thing for us. I'm very much inspired by Matt Workman with Cinematography Database and by Matthew Halberg and his augmented reality uh, projects. What can we even do with virtual production? Well, there's multiple things. The first is pre-production, is that if you could create a virtual set and then tell someone that this is where the lights should be, this is where the props should be, this is where you're gonna stand, that is invaluable with saving time when you're actually filming the production. The technique of using the LED wall and having it move with the frame is really interesting and new. And the idea that I could take 3D objects and I could have visual effects happening in the frame that I animated prior to the shoot and then bring it onto the set and then use those animations in that video on set, that's what's really exciting to me. Apart from that is going into post-production is that you're gonna speed up time in post-production. And I believe that the idea of a virtual production means you're doing post-production on set in real time. You're gonna walk away with it in the can. Um, and it's gonna just take collaboration and the vision of the creators of the video to a whole nother level. So I have a lot more to talk about in the future. This is just a preliminary video where I just wanted to lay the groundwork of what the series is gonna be. I didn't even talk about my goals in the program. That'll be in the next video. I have a lot of exciting things. This, my new phone has a LiDAR scanner. We're gonna be able to do incredible things with this. So stay tuned, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, please subscribe for the next videos in the series and I will see you in the next one.